Ground Fishing. Uh, very anticipated, highly anticipated, long waited. It's here, my big purchase for the for the month, my pseudo birthday present to myself. So uh, <clears throat> I've been leaving little quirks, little uh, you know Easter eggs here and there. Um, but what I decided to do was uh, go and get something that. I heard about and was extremely rare and just came out and pair that with something that's been out for a while but I saw a great deal so first the deal so uh, this right here 13 fishings project Z uh, everybody knows what these are um, it's a no bearing uh, you know bait casting rod that 1313 fishing put out uh, about two years ago uh, about 13 pounds of drag comes off of it there's no bearings. Instead, what they've done is they've replaced your typical stainless steel ball bearing and, and chase uh, race uh, systems with a, um, a set of composite bushings. So instead of ball bearings running around in a race uh, to give you, you know, your, your rotation for your spool and your handles and everything else, they decided to go with little rubber or little proprietary bushings, try to decrease the weight primarily make it a lot less susceptible to rust degrading uh, under saltwater condition, etc., uh, and moisture, and of course increase a little bit of the, uh, or reduce, I should say, the friction, uh, increase the mobility and the, the smoothness. So I picked up a 1.3 Fishing uh, Concept Z. Uh, now they've just come out with the Concept Z3, uh, which has, I think, 30 pounds of, of drag, I didn't need anything like that right now. Uh, I have my, uh, uh, I have my Abo Garcia, my uh, my boss, and uh, and that guy right there. That that's thirty pounds of drag. That's my big swim bait, big fish, uh, you know, uh, hauling hauling horse uh, rod and reel setup. But I wanted to get this uh, because I saw it for such a great deal. Now when these started two and a half two years ago, they came out they're around two hundred eighty dollars a piece uh, for the reel. Um, not a bad price for, you know, up-to-date technology. Two years later, you, as you would expect, the price has come down. But on top of that, they had a sale. So Dick's Sporting Goods, um, you know, feel as you may about them. Uh, they had a sale with this for 100 and, I want to say $186 or something around that. Um, but all in total, they had a 10% off sale. So when all was said and done, it dropped the price to $116. So for $116, I got what was short, you know, two years ago, a $280 reel, and most recently a hundred and some odd dollar, a $200 reel. But then you, you, you attach to that, your, you know, if you shop at Dick's a lot, you'll earn points, and points register a coupon of $10 off when you purchase $50 or more at the store. So you can take another $10 off. $106. $106 for what is, you know, relatively modernized technology. So I couldn't resist. $106 uh, price tag on a roughly $200 reel, uh, you know, modern time cost. So I got that. That's my big... Uh, you know, definite sales pitch to myself, my big, you know, uh, uh, chintzy, money grubbing cheap self found uh, found the deal, and I had to jump on that. Go to Dick's online, see if uh, the, 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 the uh, sale is still going. I'm trying to get this out for the weekend so that you can uh, jump on it if you want and you feel like catching up and getting a Concept Z. If you saw it two years ago when all the people were jumping on them, uh, and wanted one and just didn't have the money or the time or just couldn't find one in your area because they were sold out rather rapidly because it was such a hot ticket item, you know, like the evergreen chatter baits that came out, they were a hot ticket item. Um, if you can grab one now, this was the only one in the store, last one in their stock. So I jumped right on that. Uh, and for $106, if you got the coupon and you're doing the 10% and their sale online, uh, make sure it's the original Concept Z, not the Z3. Z3, I think, is 280 right now, same as this was back in the day. But uh, jump on it. Jump on it. That's my words to you. But I got to pair that with a rod, right? So I got a reel, spooled it up with 17-pound fluoro, strand fluorocarbon, 
Um, but I need a reel to put it on. And like I said, sort of like a marriage in uh, fishing heaven here. Uh, something old and something new. This guy right back here. So uh, this was my anticipated, uh, long-awaited gift to myself. Uh, this is also from 1-3 Fishing. This is their brand new 1-3 um, Fishing's Fuse, but it is their, it's their carbon fuse rod. So basically what this is, we'll unbox it or unbag it here. This is their 7-2 medium heavy. There's only 1,500 of these rods in the world. They're only producing 1,500 of them. So it is a rarity to get them if you can. Uh, you get them at Tackle Warehouse. There's a couple other suppliers that have them. I got mine from Tackle Warehouse because I got a cheap uh, rod sleeve to go on it. Uh, $450 racing your pocket. Um, this is one way to spend it really rapidly. But the gimmick or the, the, the key to this, unlike other rods, this is their 7.2, this is a medium heavy, it'll run um, lures basically from like 3 eighths or so up to a full ounce. Uh, this is an extra fast tip. So, you know, the tip on this is right into the back, right at the tip, you're very flexible. Medium, or excuse me, uh, yeah, medium heavy. The brass tacks is this. So we'll get a nice little close-up view here. So if you can see, there's no gap. There's no gap there, there's no gap here. The only gap you're going to see is on this screw. And then when you come around to the other side, there's no gap. What they've done with this rod in their concept, putting it out to market, is probably the most sensitive system for a rod you could possibly design. The carbon blank is molded with the grip, with the pistol grip. The only components on here that are not directly fused with the blank of the rod are obviously your line eye guides, the nut for your to seat your reel, and the, the foam uh, tail grip on the split grip here. But the four, the four grip here, which is the, you know, the pistol grip, they don't have a foam grip on the front. The e, uh, EVA grip on the back. Um, everything else, besides that, that grip, the nut, and the, and the eyelets, is part of the blank. So every nuance that comes down the blank goes directly into your palm. Because there is no separation between the blank and the real seat. The real seat's part of the blank. There's no separation, uh, you know, from your, your pistol grip. It's part of the blank. So the slightest little tips on the, on the end should reverberate all the way down and right into the palm. So I figured it just looked too good to be true. So this was my, uh, my Christmas gift, or my birthday gift, I should say, to myself. Probably my Christmas gift, too i got to hide this from the wife, because if she found out that I spent this kind of money on a, on a rod, let alone a rod and a reel at the same time, although I did get a good deal, I did, go to, did, did get a good deal, but uh, I can't wait to, uh, to get this out and, and try this. Like I said, i got a little 17-pound floral on it, uh, probably going to be you know Texas rigging some stuff and, and uh, seeing how this holds up, and definitely seeing the sensitivity for what it is, uh, and make sure it's not just... Uh, you know, BS. But the, the concept behind it uh, is solid. It makes sense to me. Uh, whether it plays out in reality will be different. And I'm really, really interested to see somebody actually tear one of these apart. I might, if I can, I might actually uh, see about getting a hold of another one of these. And I want to see something just to put my mind at ease, or I'll just search the internet and see if anybody else has uh, deconstructed one of these rods or if they show the the actual production of one of these rods um, because they are so uh, limited edition and somewhat coveted because of that um, you know from one three it's not like it's a, it's not exactly you know an Abu Garcia real rod combo it's you know it's not a pen surf fishing rod that's a you know a couple hundred dollars this is you know it's just a freshwater um, 
you know, bass fishing rod, um, bait caster. But, you know, for me, I figured I, I, I needed a treat, especially, you know, all the stuff we go through right now with the, uh, with the pandemic. Every once in a while, you got to do something to lift your spirits. And uh, that's what this is for me. So uh, if you have the means and you feel like checking it out, go over to Tackle Warehouse um, while they still have a few. Uh, they are obviously, like I said, very limited in quantity on the planet, let alone what Tackle Warehouse will have comparative to other retailers. Um, but uh, yeah, 7.2 medium heli. I was looking for a medium light version. I, I thought they had it on their site, but uh, the only ones they had available for me was the medium heavy. They also have a spinning reel uh, that, that matches up too. They have a... a carbon fuse spinning tackle reel as well. But I got the bait caster because I couldn't resist the deal on, on this guy right here. And I think that just looks freaking awesome. I'm not one for the for the red. When this first came out, I was like, ah, that god awful. They keep saying it's orange. It's not really, to me, an orange. It's a, it's a red, but it's got so much flake in it that the flake gives you this, this goldish orange bronze color through the paint, so, or through the clear coat. But, uh, I hope this was fun. Uh, I hope to have a lot of fun and show you all the fun that I'm hoping to have. <laughs> but uh, as always, I appreciate you guys following along. Again, I'll leave the uh, link to, to uh, Tackle Warehouse down in the description in case you feel like checking this out. I'll also leave a link to the Dick's Sporting Goods website if you want to see if they still have this available on sale. Um, these are buttery smooth from what I heard. They're not, they're not going to be the furthest casting uh, reels even, you know, if you're excellent with your thumb control and you can really set the, the Concept Z's bear, uh, uh, braking system down really low, um, it's still not going to outcast a lot of other reels. But they're smooth as, you know, as uh, glass. They're, they're buttery smooth um, for what they are. And, uh, you know, I've not been, I, I've been impressed so far taking it out on a different rod. Uh, but today this bad boy showed up, so I figured I'd make the video and, and a little show off, a little bragging. Um, I still like my SLX DC for casting long distance, especially uh, in windy situations. If there's crosswinds or headwinds, a DC reel, um, Corrado DC or, or an SLX DC, um, you can't beat the computer working, you know, tens of thousands of times faster than your finger and your brain can. They like everything. You gotta think it, then your body has to tell you to do it, and then your finger has to actually do it. And in those microseconds of thought to action, that computer on the on a DC rod or a DC reel, excuse me, um, has done it ten times over. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is a foul mouth fishing little special episode, but uh, I hope it was entertaining. I'll leave those links down in the description. As always, from me to you, tight lines. Peace, hookaholics. I'll catch you on the next cast.